Hey guys, here for another video, and today we're going to look at someone named Carly Steele, the amazing, the Man of Steel, the next Superman. In fact, she's going to start the next CW Superwoman. Obvious sarcasm, but like always, those requests, uh, you know, I, I've been looking at some requests, and this is this is a little side note. I'm probably going to make a separate video about this. Uh, you know how I always say in the end of the video, like, leave a comment below, Google form description, and then, you know, I look at the, the comments where people say names for their request shit, and we get names like Andrea Lopez, which is, you know, a Mexican Hispanic name so there's probably 20 million of them another one Natalie King probably another again a lot of names so for me when I look at some of these comments right uh and such as this one right here Jamie Lee Thornton it's like okay I, I looked them up on uh Google and I can't find their OnlyFans so or their Instagram so it would help if you guys were to give me some type of Instagram handle like hey do uh you know XYZ and uh you know here's her IG like here's another one what do you think about Miss Fernandez gee I don't know there's a hundred of them that cross the fucking border every fucking day you see what I'm saying so it would help if you guys gave me their IG link but nonetheless, we're going to talk about Carly Steele. And then, like always, we're going to look at their social media and then just dive right into the OnlyFans. So, like I said, she is a YouTuber. She was pretty famous. She has a shit ton of, uh, you know, she has over a million subscribers on YouTube. Shout out to that. Definitely the clout died down because her podcast with her, I guess, uh, boyfriend, husband, I don't know, uh, definitely isn't too entertaining. Uh, and, and, you know, let's be real, right? People are following her because she looks good, right? It's not so much that her content's fucking revolutionary and entertaining. She's just a hot bitch and, uh, you know, she has a decent looking boyfriend. And she has OnlyFans. Uh, she does have Instagram, 353K followers. I found it somewhat interesting that her OnlyFans was not on her Instagram. I, I, I get it. There are some people that try to hide it, but I mean, let's be real. I always say embrace it. If you're getting memed on or if you're doing OnlyFans, embrace it, right? There's nothing wrong with it. It looks a little bit more sus or weird if you're like, oh shit, I, I don't want to see uh, anyone, you know, me sucking dick. I don't want blah, 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 blah. I mean, that's your main money income and, you know, that's okay to accept that. She also has a Twitter. She doesn't really post any spicy pictures, as they say, on any of the profiles, right? Uh, but I did find some comments kind of interesting on her Twitter, like, uh, love going shopping with my man's card. Am I dreaming? Here's another one. Josh literally gives me money for no reason. Love the married life. So when I see those comments, I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. For the streets, motherfucker. Like, I don't, I hate, I, I'm telling you, I, I, I dated a woman like this. And there are many girls like this where they're just like, oh, I need money. Wah, wah, uh, I need to uh, give me my nails. Wah, wah. And it's like, uh, you get tired of it. It feels like you're taking care of a child. And that's the last thing I want to do, right? I'm fucking 28. I don't want to take care of a child. I don't want to be taken care of. I just want to have a good time and fuck the bitch. You see what I'm saying? But I figured that was somewhat interesting. So that being said, let's just get right into the OnlyFans and see what the good stuff is. So right when you get it, it says, hi, babes, this is where all the fun begins. I mean, hopefully the fun. I mean, I don't know if I'm having fun, so to say. If I'm accessing someone's OnlyFans, it's not for fun, you know? If I'm going to have fun, I'm going to go out with my friends. If I'm going to have fun, I'm going to play Dragon Ball Z. If I want to have fun, I'll play fucking Tetris, drunk, high wall bitches sucking my dick. You see what I'm saying? This ain't really fun, but, you know, somewhat interesting way to start. All photos are copyrighted and redistribution will have legal consequences. So, description, horrible, right? It doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me if it's sexy-ish content, BG-ish content. Maybe she's sucking a couple donkeys dicks maybe she's getting fucked in the ass maybe she's doing some type of triple x content it doesn't tell me any of that beside this is where the fun begins I, I don't really give a shit about fun like i said no one's accessing it's not only funds right it's only fans you know we're not accessing to watch you or us have fun it's more for the fucking nut material as always now it is for 20 dollars a month i personally think that's expensive there are very few accounts i think are worth it uh i think one of them is in my like uh like best only fans and it's called the bb's world uh or I, I forgot she i think she changed her username to bb exotic uh definitely check that i think that's definitely worth the money so to say but again i always say if it's 20 dollars, i do expect consistency i do expect it to be like netflix account right netflix consistent netflix has a huge catalog netflix has a lot of content that we can absorb and really is worth the long-term subscription right if it doesn't really you know uh if it doesn't really provide that type of content or quality and content or quality and quantity that a sub should have then it might not be worth it so that being said she does have a whopping get ready boys 79 
photos holy shit revolutionary right and 67 videos which the numbers are pretty pathetic again we're paying 20 dollars a month for this if you think those numbers are worth it for that price and who knows maybe but let's talk about the content because obviously that makes a huge difference so in terms of photos if you want to see nudes of her you are gonna see it there isn't that many nudes of her you get to see her tits you get to see a little bit of her pussy but the majority of her videos are her just wearing different types of outfits but if you want to see her tits you will be seeing her tits but again let's be real we're guys we've seen so many tits we've seen every time at least hopefully again maybe maybe i'm wrong but i'm gonna assume that most guys that are into only fans have watched porn and most people that have watched porn has seen every type of nipple to discombobulated motherfucking plastic surgery bbl type modifier in the world so again there's a couple nipple pictures of her i don't think it's really that special or impactful for the video she does have six seven videos longest videos two minutes and 28 seconds and then it just dips to 59 seconds she's probably like oh fuck it I'm making good money from this, these things. I don't gotta work hard. Uh, 30 seconds, 29, 28, 26, and the majority of her videos are between the six to 10 second mark, which, I mean, again, I sound like a dick and I don't mind sounding like a dick because you're paying $20 a month for this, right? This is why my channel exists. My channel is to show you guys, hey, you guys are paying, you might pay this amount of money or maybe, hey, I don't know if I should get this OnlyFans. I don't know if it's worth it or not. And then you see this type of shit work ethic. So personally, I think that's pretty shitty regardless of the content. But you know what? Let's talk about the content because maybe, maybe there are people out there that are happy with six second videos. So longest video, which is two minutes, 28 seconds, sort of a YouTube video. She has cake and she's rubbing it in her tits. Uh, it isn't too crazy. She's just fucking talking. It feels like a normal YouTube video. Again, we're guys. We've seen a lot of porn. Really, it doesn't have that much impact for a girl to be spreading cake amongst her tits while talking uh but there is some beachy videos which i will commend her she does have some beachy videos but there isn't that many i counted in total 18 bg videos but none of them are very long there are some that are three seconds long there's some that are five seconds long now in terms of bg videos uh yeah she is sucking dick there's one that's like a side fuck another one that she's riding the guy another one she's getting uh you know fuck doggy style but again the videos are extremely short and i do not think it warrants the 20 uh dollars a month subscription because honestly if you want to see a girl get fucked doggy style there's many girls like her honestly i know i sound like a dick if, if we objectify her if we only look at her from a fucking body physical uh aspect there isn't really anything too special about her right decent tits decent ass decent face uh again millions of other girls exist through that now, beside those 18 BG videos that I mentioned, the rest of the videos are kind of her just playing of herself and showing off her body. Nothing too crazy. Again, most of the videos are pretty short. And like I said, that longest video is 2 minutes and 28 seconds. And then the rest just dip uh, within a couple seconds. And I personally think that is garbage. Now, overall, if I think the OnlyFans worth it or not, I personally think, like I said, I've already, I think I've already said garbage like four or five times. It is garbage. This is where Oscar the Grouch belongs, right? Uh, there is just isn't anything too impactful. And now, if you do want to see a couple videos of her getting fucked, then obviously you can spend the twenty dollars for that month, and you know you can look through her entire catalog within one nut session. I'll be honest with you. I know that sounds weird. It, it's just the content isn't too impactful. It's just like, oh, you might get a hard on cool you get to see her fucked if you were to combine all videos it might equate to one decent video on Pornhub of a white girl getting fucked and you know there just isn't anything too special about her so like I said I personally don't think it's worth it if you guys want to check it out obviously look at some leaks leaks do exist I can't tell you guys how to do with that because uh I don't want this channel to get taken down but if you like those leaks uh you might like her OnlyFans but me after seeing those leaks and seeing her OnlyFans seeing how correlated they are I do still think it is garbage so like always guys please leave a comment below for any suggestions please take what I said earlier into consideration just put their IG fucking handle it's not that fucking hard it makes my life easier and I don't get to choose the wrong OnlyFans girl it's happened before where I chose like the wrong like uh Maria Lopez and it's like oh I thought you were talking about this girl's OnlyFans and then I just spent this amount of money and such so I do appreciate you guys watching this video please hit that like button please rape that sub button hopefully you get 20 thousand billion quadrillion subs and uh maybe we'll go out to india and like film a porno with uh the people i don't know in fucking mumbai or some shit uh and if i don't i will kill myself later